flight navigation was divided into two parts. Uh, the first part we had to climb our first peak. That was really shack for us because we climb up straight from the ravine. So for the second part, we have to climb up the highest peak. The highest peak was I think about 420 meters or more. We were literally climbing on all fours and if we didn't wear our gloves, we would have a lot of cuts because there are a lot of thorny plants. Apart from all our own equipments, uh, we have to carry uh, store items like battery for our signal sets, first aid box, plus your 6 litres of water. So I think overall it's about 20 kg uh, or even more. Now we climb a little bit, then rest for 5 minutes, then a little bit for 5 minutes. So like, we try to encourage each other, hey, come on, let's, let's go, let's climb up. Uh, the top is just up there. Every time when the step is too tough for me to take, I'll just imagine my mum is on my back and I can't let her go down. I'll just piggyback her all the way up to the mountain. There were many times that I get tempted to just fall out, but I'm glad that I decided to push on with my other buddies, and thankfully we made it to this far. Swimming after five days of walking, the legs really feel numb, I couldn't feel my legs. Even though I was trying as hard as I can to swim across, it seems that like we weren't even moving across the river. Thankfully, my other teammates who were with me pushed on and we all did together, so it was quite an experience. And now we are inserted into this survival civil place where we had to survive for like three days, two nights. Honestly, uh, the first thing that comes to my mind is food uh, and I'm feeling very, very hungry. I'm just going to hurry up, build my A-frame, my fireplace and tonight I'm just going to whack some Maggie uh. I cannot take it really. I've eaten almost half of my two 24 hours combination and I only left with two main pack and one dessert pack. So uh, I have another like four days to go. On a scale of one to ten, I think I'm a nine. Yeah, I'm really hungry. I think by tomorrow, I think we'll be at the scale of seven already. Yeah, I'll say close to ten. I'm about 9.5. I'm already at 20. Uh. It's really, really quite torturing, uh, the, the, the lack of food. We have been surviving only on two days ration for the past six days and we got like another three more days. We really have to save every piece of biscuit, every piece of our ration just to survive the day. Hopefully the river nearby has some fish to offer. Uh, maybe cook it, uh, have a nice meal, enjoy it. You can't believe it's okay. No? It has been like two hours plus and we have still gotten nothing. I'm out of food, feeling very hungry right now. The main thing that I do to keep my mind off hunger is to keep on doing things so that my mind is preoccupied, not thinking about food. So far, it's helping, but once I stop, the hunger strikes back and I get back to square one. Something that I'm, I'm not used to uh, makes me really appreciate what I have at home. Okay guys, uh, welcome to Clear Assessment. Uh. Total, you scored 8 points for this assessment. Lay your tree leaf in front of you now. Okay, 
you can come forward, grab your queue. Ready? Come, Justin. Next. successful. Put the bird on the clean leaf, then start from the neck down. Take out all the inlets. Show me the gall better. Pass. Actually, I'm a, quite an animal lover. I keep a lot of pets, you know, throughout my childhood days. When I first saw the quail, it looked at me with the puss in boots eyes. So it was quite unbearable to kill it. But after what all the instructors taught us, reading the jungle survival book, how to skin and kill the quail, I managed to pull it off with full points. I was very nervous at the start. When I held it, it was still warm, so I knew it was a living thing. And then I started to do what I had to do, yeah. But I think now the survival phase calls for it already, so um, I just had to uh, turn on my survival mode, just, just crack the head and then pull it out. It was quite an experience. I don't know how to put it in words, but uh, I don't think I'll be doing it uh, anytime soon. I think now, in a state of hunger, uh, nothing compares to anything. I just have to do it for survival. Oh. Hi, hey, chicken soup. Ah. Oh, yeah. It's good. It's good. Ah. Uh. Wow, shook. You better wait for yours, man. Oh. What do you do to have quail soup in Singapore? <laughs> How's the quail? It's fantastic. You know, I've never eaten quail in my life before. It's the first time, man. It tastes just like chicken and it's very nice. Especially when you're so hungry, it tastes even better. Mm. It's probably the best thing I've ever tasted. I mean, after eating all the combat rations, it, it just gets a bit disgusting already. So, having a real meat, fresh meat, and cooking it, it's really, it really feels very, very, very awesome. Oh, I want to cry.